morning. How are we all doing? Pete here. It's um, Wednesday morning. Look, coming off at 7 o'clock. Just out with Stan, got for a walk. All good. Hope everybody's well. Just want to have a little chat, really, huh? about health things and stuff, really. For maybe about 40 odd years. 40, 45 years, I've had stomach issues. Started in my 20s, serious, well, quite severe stomach cramps, bloating, and all that time, I suffered with a bit of fatigue. Not nausea, not being sick, but bloating, diarrhea, and stuff like that, come and go. First of all, I went to, on one Saturday evening, I had severe stomach cramps, really bad, which was diagnosed as appendix. So I was taken to the hospital, done the operation, the next day said it was appendicitis. It turned out there's nothing wrong with appendix. So I said, we'd better have a look in your bowels. So I had to go and have a camera up my bum. And I was in probably about 21 at the time, 22. And it was just, we just got married, so yeah, I was about 22, 23. And they came out, they said, you've got Crohn's disease. You know, obviously, which is a very, quite serious disease. And well, I didn't really have symptoms of Crohn's disease. I've never been slim, I've never lost weight. Uh, and it hasn't been that severe, my stomach is bad, bloating and stuff like that. Which went on for 10 years, I suppose. And then, I'll oh, just turn the thing around. Then, they came around and said, it's IBS, it must be IBS. And then went to see a few doctors and, yeah, definitely IBS, definitely IBS. So diagnosed with IBS. And this went on for two about, Six months ago, I was having these cramps again. Most afternoons, getting stomach cramps, bloating, feeling tired. And as you get older, you know, it affects a bit more. So I troops, and they've done some blood tests. And this one particular doctor did a blood test for a celiac. Uh, and my levels come back really high, really abnormal. Celiac, you know, which means it's a gluten intolerance, wheat intolerance, barley, stuff like that. I always loved my ales and drunk beer, I liked my bread as well. And I thought it might have been dairy was upsetting me, but I didn't notice if I had pizzas and stuff like that, I'd suffer a day or two later, or anything really like that. So I went on a, after they diagnosed that, there's no, no medication for it, you just got to stop having gluten. So, of uh, the last three, four weeks, I haven't had any gluten, or very, very, very minute amounts. Uh, so I try and avoid it. My stomach cramps have cured. I've never had gone this long without a stomach problem. Um, also, I don't get no stomach pain, no stomach cramps, I've had no diarrhea. Um, I don't feel so tired. I get more energy. And you get this fogginess as well, brain fog a bit. I've got none of that. That's gone. And also, I suffer with sinus problems. And uh, that seems to have gone as well. Because it's an autoimmune disease and it attacks your gut and your immune system causing problems. Uh, just wanted to talk about it really, because I'm, you know, six foot two, hulking great bloke, it's not often seen, and you know, pretty quite rare, but the doctor's convinced it's, that was misdiagnosed for all this time, so, you know, if you are suffering like that, that might, might be the reason, and it might be something around it worth getting checked out. Anyway, I need to back at the road now, so, speak to you all soon. Keep smiling. Pete out.